Why do we need relationships to function? Human beings need relationships to function because, truthfully, we're scared. We don't understand who we are, where we are, what we are. We don't know anything. From birth till death, we are on a journey to try and find answers. Along that journey, we get scared. We find fear. In order to conquer that fear, we have to give a realization to the fear. That is often best achieved with assistance. When you walk into a dark room and you have no idea what's in that room, you're often scared. Your heart starts racing, adrenaline's pumping. But if you have somebody beside you that's explaining to you what's in the room, that there's a television set, that there's a fridge, that there's a table, that there's some family members sitting over there, the fear is then removed. We, from birth, form relationships in different ways. We form them with people. We form them with pets. We form them with nature. We form them with materialistic things. We commonly form them with entertainment. Video games, for example. Movies. Television shows. You form attachments to people on soap operas, on comedies. Okay? People love Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Everybody loves Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. He's hilarious. <laughs> We need relationships because they give us understanding in a world we do not understand. We hold on to what becomes familiar to us. As we progress through life, we hold on to what makes us feel safe. You hold on to things that are attachments to you. It could be the clothing that you wear. It, embr it keeps a comfort inside you or it embraces you. It could be the place you live in. It's secluded, it's out in the open. could be anything. You form relationships depending on who you are as an individual. What ends up happening is with your formation of the relationship, you create a bond to it. Now the bond, though it's very, very important, it's dangerous if you don't understand its attachment to you. The relationships are needed for you to get through life, but they're quite capable of also taking it from you. If you don't understand the value of a relationship and the point of a relationship, and that's this, that it's meant to be taken away from you, if you don't understand that, then you can never truly have the value of the relationship, and when it does leave, it will crumble you. <clears throat> now, why do I say that it's going to be taken from you? We rely on relationships because they give us comfort. Life is meant for you to experience. You can't experience in a comfort zone. Everything in life comes and goes. Like a plant grows, it eventually... It dies. Like a person lives, eventually they die. Like a pet lives, eventually they die. Everything comes, everything goes. When you form an attachment, a relationship, as a need... When the need's taken from you, it crushes you. This is why people, when they're in love, in a relationship, it crushes them when the person is gone. This is why when a family member is taken from you, it crushes you. A friend, it crushes you. A co-worker, it, cr it crushes you. A stranger, you even feel attachments to. <clears throat> Terrible things happening around the world, you feel at ease to. People in your cultures, people in your religions. Just being a human being, <clears throat> you feel for nature. You feel when, when trees are burned down. Human beings are naturally relationship entwined people. That's who, that's who we are. It's what we're meant to be. But it's why we need them that's unique. There are five specific reasons that people hold on to a relationship. Each one is unique on their own, but they're all intertwined into a relationship. There's dependency. You need that relationship in order for you to understand what's going on around you, to keep your sanity in your world. You can hold this relationship often with a family member, a mother or a father who's teaching you, a brother or sister who's close to you. You hold it to teachers, people of superior um, superiority of any kind, people that you can look up to, role models. Okay. 
you also hold it for the fear of the unknown. That you can embrace life and continue life and do new things and get through it with a support system. The third one being support. The fourth is you hold relationships because of something we all have in common. A feeling. You hold it for love. Love is the one thing that allows you in this unknown world to want to go through it. You feel a joy that's worth more than anything. It's worth more than the cars, than the house, than the knowledge, than <clears throat> than the past, and whatever the future can possibly hold for you. It's the moment that you're in that you are willing to take whatever's going to come next. That's love, and that's the most powerful form of a relationship. <clears throat> and the last thing that people hold relationships for, and this is where we feel a part of the world, is we hold them for community. We feel alive when we're intertwined in the growth of the world and the growth of the universe. We feel alive when we're a part of something. Human beings are natural builders. We love to create. That's why one of the best stress relievers is a natural hobby that involves both the mind and the physical body working together. Uh, art and a craft is most common. Sculpture, painting, um, anything of that sort, writing, okay, being a, becoming an author, just writing a personal novel, people write in their diaries all the time, um, being outside, being playing sports, okay, you can name thousands of different things. We need the relationships because they create familiarity with us. With familiarity, we have need to continue. The only reason is because purpose becomes a part of our lives with relationships. The less you have with relationships, the less purpose you have in life. That's why people go down very dark paths when people push them away. That's why people feel overwhelmed when they have too many relationships because they feel that they can't give themselves to them. Relationships are meant to be given everything you got. If you're with a loved one, if you're with a family member, a friend, you gotta give them everything you got. So whether you have one friend, whether you have a thousand friends, to treat them all equally is what builds the friendships. Not to classify somebody differently because of something specific. Not to classify a friend because of their wealth, because of their class, because of their skin, because of their culture, because of their religion but to classify them a friend because they embrace you equally in that relationship. Because they allow you to form the five things that create that. The dependency, to support you through the fear of the unknown, to be a part of that community of friendship, and more importantly, to show you love. We need the relationships because we feel alive in the moments with them. We allow ourselves to continue life knowing that there's a relationship that I can build the next day with it. That there's something to look forward to, that there's a laughter coming ahead. That's why we need relationships.